Hello, three important ideas to ace DLR section, right? Especially if you are someone who is weak with DLR, struggling with DLR, this is the video that you should be watching, right? Uh, if you haven't liked this video yet, please like it. Please subscribe to our channel if you haven't done it yet, right? So the most important idea is puzzle selection, right? Previously, the exam was 60 minutes long, the DLR section and had eight puzzles. Now it is probably what? Four or five puzzles and only 40 minutes long. Right. So, so the time has constrained more. Even in the older format, puzzle selection was so important. Now it is the most important thing in solving any DLR puzzle. So the first important, most crucial thing to figure out is puzzle selection. Right. There is a I thing that pop up or there's a link in description for a blog where we will we would have discussed in detail about what could be your strengths, what could be your weaknesses in terms of DLR. Based on that, how do you select puzzles? How do you even more importantly eliminate puzzles, right? Uh, originally, there were eight puzzles. You can easily eliminate four to five puzzles based on what you don't like. Out of the remaining puzzles, try and solve them, right? Now, there is only four or five puzzles. You can easily eliminate one or two, which means you don't have to look at 100% of the paper. You'll have to look only at 50% of the paper to find a puzzle to actually solve. So this is so much better than struggling with a lot of puzzles. So puzzle selection is super important. Pause this video, open the blog in another tab maybe. And then after finishing this video, go back to it and go through that exercise of how have I tried looking at 2018 paper through the lens of how do I select a puzzle or how do I reject a puzzle based on what my strengths are and what my weaknesses are. That is super important as an exercise because it will give you a, give you a sense of, okay, this is how I should be choosing puzzle. This is how I should be ignoring them, right? You will figure that out. And that is super crucial. The second most important thing is finding the most constrained constraint, right? Usually in logical reasoning related puzzles, you will have a lot of constraints given to you, right? Out of which there is usually one constraint that is the most restricted, most restrictive constraint, right? Figuring out is super helpful because the moment you figure which is the most restrictive constraint, you build your case, you build your puzzle around that constraint because that can hurt any other constraint. There are some, there are some constraints that just depend on themselves. But the most restrictive constraint usually hurts the other constraints as well. It interferes with everything else, right? So not all questions might have this, but several questions do have this pattern. So start recognizing what could be the most restrictive constraint among the set of constraints and build your case around it. That is a beautiful way to solve any LR puzzle because the moment you figure that out, the other things will fall in place. Right. The third most important idea. Okay, you, are, you told me find the most restrictive constraint and everything, blah, blah, blah. I don't even understand what that means. How do I figure it out? Go and search for actual CAT question papers. You will find two IMs link at the top. Definitely click on it. Solve all DLR puzzles. Why is that? The third important idea is practice. By practice, you can learn which is the most restrictive constraint. Right. So solve a puzzle and then go look at the video solution or the text based solution. You will realize for some random reason, we would have started with point number four and then proceeded with it. Or we would have said point one, two, let me come back to it and then moved on to one point and then started solving the puzzle with that point. That is how you get used to what is the most restrictive constraint. And solving actual cat level puzzles are the best substitute for practice. So practice a lot, practice enormously. Paper from 17 to 22, what about five years of papers are completely available for free. Make the most out of it, right? So three points are covered. In case you are someone who says, hey, I'm really weak at DLR. I don't know how to even begin, right? I don't know how you're telling me you should, it should pop up like this. How, what is that pop up thing? I don't see it, right? If you're someone like that, do things like play games like 2048, Sudoku, Scrabble, Crossword, any type of puzzle. It can be English based. It can be math based. It doesn't have to be only math based because the more you solve these puzzle type things, your brain will become better at pattern recognition and pattern recognition is super crucial in solving puzzles. Even more crucial in figuring out which could be the most restrictive constraint and everything. So pattern recognition is super useful across the board, even more useful in the context of DLR. So solve 2048, Sudoku, Scrabble, Crossword, any type of puzzle that you can lay your hands on as long as it's not too simple or too easy because that is how your brain will start figuring out patterns. The more your brain can figure out patterns, better you can ace your DLR section. I hope you found this video useful. Please hit the like button, right, in case you like this video. And do 
post on the comments in case you have any questions that you want me to answer want us to answer or in case you have any questions related to this video please post in the comments we'll be super happy to answer all of them best wishes for your capture